Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? <laughs> Me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. Might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No, why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago, you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it. Pete, glad to see you're okay. Hanging in there. Hmm. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. Thanks. I appreciate it. Maybe there's a vent somewhere. Huh. Never seen that room before. Whoa, what the... High voltage lines. What needs this much power? I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. Looks like this note is for May. Lee really did care about May. Hope this means she's out of danger. journal a key wonder where the lock is Lee sounds conflicted almost like he didn't want to head down this path
This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Lee did so much for New York. I can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right.
What are you hiding, Lee? He's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? Lee sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Pretended to be a demon, until he became one. This is all about Norman Osborne. His whole career. Lee must have been obsessed with him. This is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. I can feel my power growing, feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance, but he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster is to become one. Maybe. Phew. It's a burn room, wired to destroy evidence. One more. Police had found this. Or May. Don't want to think of what could have happened. Now, how do I get out of here? Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. I didn't get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is, you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. 
As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Watanabe. I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named Mae Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey, just checking in. Peter, hey, can I call you back? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait. Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Dinner. Huh. What should I cook? Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news. Come by the lab. Uh, like now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Be right there. <laughs> this means I have a job again. Yes, I can stop by. Just for a minute. job for you, but no need to pay me. Action is my reward. Ha! A pigeon! Oh no, there it goes!
29, we have an active bomb threat. Incident was reported near the meatpacking district. Howard Pigeon! Come on! He's a fast one! This pigeon knows the city better than I do! Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. Really glad Doc let me store things here after the whole eviction thing. Oh, Peter! I noticed you keep track of Spider-Man's foes. Smart. Easier to craft countermeasures that way. Gonna miss that humorless grimace. Last time I fought Scorpion, he asked if I knew what my skull looked like from the inside. Then offered to show me. Super fun guy. Electro was the first legit super-powered villain I fought. Till then it had been regular guys in fancy suits. Mob enforcer turned walking tank. Rhino's racked up enough property damage to destroy Manhattan three times over. Vulture might be the smartest guy up on this wall. Not smart enough to duck three consecutive life sentences, of course, but still pretty brainy. Our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. I got a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. You ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Why don't you take a break? 
I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short.
Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? We did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. Sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. What's that? Hey, sorry I missed your call. Are you still on for dinner? Dinner? you about something else but yeah we should talk over dinner offer still stands for me to come over and cook oh really well i like to take risks i'm still out but i'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when i'm home okay talk soon All right, dinner at MJ's. Low expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. Guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. This is stable control. Need a report of the situation north of Houston. APC under fire. Repeat, we are taking fire. Those guys, but I'm still gonna kick your butt. Way to stop the demons for good. Just backing you up, sport. Be careful in here, Pete. 
This station analyzes hazardous chemicals, uh, basically trying to figure out how to counteract them if they ever got out into the world, which <coughs> hopefully they never will. Oh no, someone broke in and stole a volatile rocket propellant. And they must have cracked the container because it's leaking. From the timestamp on the security cameras, it just happened. I need to get it back. My spider bots are still just prototypes, but this is a good time to test one. Its sensors can follow the chemical trail. Better than me swinging up on the thief. If he freaks out and drops the hydrazine, he'll blow up half a block. Gotta find a quiet place to deploy the spider bot, where I can hang out and guide it. Okay, little guy, let's find where the chemical dripped and vacuum it up before it makes someone sick. Not only is Minnie me cleaning up the spills, it's leading me right to the thief. The thief's hiding in crowds. I'll disperse him with a subsonic blast. Won't hurt anyone, but it's super annoying. Lucky this stuff's only dangerous over a long exposure. Or if it combusts. Maybe... Maybe not. End of the trail. He's in this crowd. He's running. Gotta wrap him up with a web burst. Got it. Now to get the fuel back. Got it. Now I just need to return the fuel to the station. This little spider bot's useful. If I can ever find a way to make them cost effective, they'd be a big help. Sorry, I'm usually web swinging. Chemicals back where it belongs, I beefed up the station's security, and sent Yuri the camera footage to convict the thief. Not a bad day's work. This is one station that was already earning its keep. It should be safe from being shut down, especially now that the chemicals are locked away. Hey, MJ. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> Hi! We can fight or hear me out. We can barbecue. Ugh! <clears throat> 
out here. Better go in. And without further ado... MJ, I'm at location number two. Can you believe these demons wear their masks just like walking around? Let's make for confusing staff meetings. I'll try to figure out their operation while you throw a wrench into it. <laughs> But now我们是不是应该更努力干掉他就是That place is supposed to be a bespoke furniture manufacturer. From what I can see, it's more like illegal weapons. And this might come as a shock, but I don't think they're really bespoke. The hipster assassins are going to be so disappointed. <laughs> I'm not glad to see more of you!
MJ, call the police. I've got the place secured. Nice job. Anytime we can get guns off the street, it's a win. 